everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and happy 4th of July. I've got my red, white, and blue on and to celebrate, I wanted to share with you guys a healthy dessert recipe. It is a strawberry, blueberry, raspberry trifle, a red, white, and blue trifle. And if you're not familiar with what a trifle is, it's basically layers of this delicious pudding mix, this angel food layer, and then a fruit layer. And you just kind of make those layers over and over again. I'll show you guys exactly how I make it. I made it for the first time years and years ago for my first ever food blog and I love it for this time of year. It's just good with all the you know fresh uh, ingredients like the fruits that you can get at the farmer's market. So if you guys like healthy dessert recipes, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So the first thing I did before anything was prep my strawberries and all my fruits in general. I washed the raspberries and the blueberries. And then for the strawberries, I have this cute little, it's like a strawberry haul that I bought from um, Sir Le Tab, but you can find it probably at any grocery store as well. But all it does is kind of just pick out the middle leaf part and then I just slice them like this. So. Got all my strawberries and all my fruits ready to go. So now we're gonna work on that pudding mix. So what I have in front of me is one and a half cup of cold water. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetened fat-free condensed milk. And this is what's going to make our pudding. And then I also have a package of sugar-free white chocolate pudding mix that I'll be adding to this once I whisk it up. make sure all of that sweetened condensed milk is mixed in. Okay, that looks very nicely mixed in. And so now I'm just gonna take my package of the white chocolate pudding mix and add it and mix it again. All right, and then you're just gonna let this sit sit for about three to four minutes until you'll see that it kind of hardens like pudding. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. I have my angel food cake. Now you can make this yourself, but I just go ahead and buy it from the store. It's just easy. And then I've got a 10 ounce loaf here. What I'm gonna do is just take my hand and make little pieces like this because I don't want big chunks in this trifle. So just go ahead and do this to the whole entire loaf. All right, so now my pudding mix is completely settled. If you kind of jiggle it, it's very solid. So what I'm gonna do now is add some frozen whipped topping to this. I've already thawed this out. You can find this right next to the pizza crust or kind of like the whipped topping frozen area in your grocery store. I got the light version just to kind of keep it a little bit lighter. What I'm gonna do is just basically fold this into my pudding mix. And this becomes kind of your amazing and delicious light and fluffy pudding mix for your trifle. So just work nice and slowly and fold in. All right, so I actually stuck my pudding mix in the freezer for a little bit. I think I thawed out my whipped topping a little too much, so I want it to get a little bit thicker and not so runny as it is right now. But in the meantime, we can work on our layers. So I've uh, kind of halved the angel food cake into two halves like this. And so what I'm gonna do first is layer the bottom of my trifle dish with the angel food cake. And the trifle dish is good because you can kind of see the different layers and it makes it look really pretty. Um, but you can totally leave that out. I just think it looks really nice. Okay, so we have our angel food cake layer. And now I'm going to add some fruits. So what I like to do is take kind of these half strawberries and stick them to the side so you can't really see too clearly out of the trifle, but you can kind of just see that there is a red layer. So I like to do that all the way around first. All right, so that looks good. 
and then just take a little bit, roughly you want to use up like half of your um, fruits. I just kind of throw them around in the middle after that because you can't really see this part. You just want a good layer of the different fruits. All right, so my first fruit layer is done. I'm actually used about one third of my entire fruits because we are gonna have three different layers of fruits. So, and now I also pulled out my pudding mix, which seems a lot better. So it should be runny, but not too runny. So just kind of like this, which is perfect. Now I have this spoon and I'm going to just create a pudding layer now. So as evenly as you can using half of the mix, just create a nice even layer. All right, and I'm just trying to smooth it on the top as much as I can. I'm trying to keep the strawberries on the top from getting too much of the pudding so that you can still see it from the side. So that looks good. And I used up about half of my pudding. So now you're just gonna go back with the rest of the angel food cake and do another cake layer. All right, so we've got our food, angel food cake layer again. And now let's use up more of our fruit. So use up half of what you have left. So because this is gonna be one more fruit layer, then we're gonna use up the rest of the pudding. And then you're just gonna create a nice little fruit design on the top and that's it. So use up half of the remainder of the fruits. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create that circular pattern like I did last time again, just so you can kind of see it from the side. All right, so there you guys go. That is my attempt at a nice design on the top. I've done better. I've made this dish so many times that, you know, every time looks very, very different. And I've used all kinds of different fruits. I wanted to keep this one red, white, and blue for 4th of July, so I used kind of these fruits, but I've used all kinds, and they're all delicious. So now it's for taste testing and it's totally gonna ruin the entire thing. So <laughs> that's okay, it's just my family that's gonna have this after. Oh yes, gotta have all the different layers. And then let me turn this around and you can see where I got my piece from. You got the cake, you've got the fruits, the pudding. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. All right guys. My favorite, favorite part. I absolutely love all these fresh fruits from the farmer's market, so this is my favorite summer dessert. So, all right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The pudding mix, I really, really like this because of the whipped topping. It makes it extra fluffy. And then, you know, the angel food cake kind of soaks up all the pudding. It's delicious. You guys, if you want a simple, simple dessert this summer, give this one a try. You won't regret it. If you guys like healthy desserts, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced. Mm.